All right, Colorado lawmakers, they're adamant 2021 is the year to fix our roads. And there have been roadblocks, but today the governor, along with Democratic state lawmakers, unveiled Colorado's new transportation bill. And for drivers, it's going to cost you about $28 a year. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey takes a look at the plan. I drive all the time and I'm running into potholes. Frustrated and fed up with a bumpy commute, some Coloradans say they're tired of being bounced around. There's a lot of streets that need a lot of work around here. It's to finally fix our damn roads. And Governor Jared Polis, along with a group of state lawmakers, say they're ready to make it happen. On Tuesday, they unveiled a bill they say will fix the roads and bring modern technology to Colorado's infrastructure. We can add real value real value to the lives of every Colorado business and every Colorado family. The goal is to raise $3.1 billion over 11 years to fix roads, update technology, and invest in electric infrastructure for the future of transportation. This is the best, most collaborative effort that I've seen to do so. The money from the improvements will come from new fees, including a fuel charge of two cents per gallon starting in 2022 that will increase annually until we hit eight cents. I mean, eight cents, like, it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but like it does, it does kind of hurt the bottom line. For Benjamin Maliki, who often drives for Postmates, he's concerned that eight cents extra on gas could really hurt. I struggle to make ends meet. The plan also includes a 30 cent fee for rideshare trips, including Uber and Lyft, and a 27 cent fee for food and package deliveries. The sponsors of the bill say it will cost the average Coloradan $28 per year. I think the people should be able to vote on that option. And some Republicans agree, saying Colorado Democrats are trying to go around the state Tabor law, which requires voters to approve a tax increase. Time and time again, we've gone to the voters and say, hey, do you support this kind of tax increase for roads and bridges? And they've consistently said no, no, no. Keep in mind, this is a fee, not a tax. But for Republican Sage Nauman, a spokesperson for the Senate GOP, he called the bill insane, saying it repeals a bipartisan law funding infrastructure passed in 2018. Every time we have a surplus of the general fund, our number one priority is put it into our roads and bridges. We did that two years ago. Democrats say the time to fix our roads is now. This plan truly is better for Denver and it's better for all of Colorado, wherever they, we live, and it begins to pave the way for a transportation system of the 21st century. Drivers tell Denver 7 results are key. I think it's worth asking the people, you know, instead of just implementing it, but if they're going to do it, hopefully we see some results from it. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7. Now the bill still has to make its way through the legislature. The first hearing will be in the Senate Finance Committee. A date has not yet been set.